Hello, I've not really made a video the last few days, despite going to some really cool new places. However, I've not really been able to explore them, and that is because our cruise director, the person in charge of us running this ship, is not well. Which has left little me in charge. <laughs> That's right, the girl who started two weeks ago. In fact, to the day. So it's been intense, and do you know what? I've not actually felt pressure. The guests have been amazingly lovely, but I've I've not felt overworked. I have I mean, our cruise director has been isolating just in case, but he's still been helping me out, obviously, and like telling me what to do and what to say and blah, blah, blah. And it's really been all right. It's not been too overwhelming. And like I say, the guests have been amazing, so kind. I did have a, a bit of a thing that happened earlier today that I was like, oh, it just didn't make me feel very good. It was just literally one person saying one sentence and it wasn't even about me it was basically them just not being helpful but then in that moment i just felt like you know i'm trying so hard i'm really i stepped up and i'm genuinely proud of the way i've handled this like i don't mean to toot my own horn but i really think i did a good job or i'm doing a good job of handling it as best as i can but then this happened and i was just like can you not just help me but anyway it's fine. So aside from that, I have to say I've loved the support from everyone, the guests and the rest of the hotel team. We call it the hotel team. I still find that strange, but that's kind of everyone else, all the crew and everything. And the hotel manager, who is one of the most senior people on this boat. Ship. I always get told off for saying boat. I just like the word boat. Anyway. He gave me a special shout out today and I got a very big cheer from, I was about to say the audience, from the people, the guests. So that made me feel really nice. And a lot of people have also like taken the time to come up to me and say, you're doing a good job and you know, you're really stepping up. You've got nothing to worry about. So that's been really nice. And now tonight, just to add to my workload, I've decided to do more singing, which is really nerve wracking, but I hope they like it. They said they'll be supportive anyway, so I hope so. So that's my life update. That's what's been going on. I just hope that next month when we're back in this area, because it's going to be a full month until we're back, I hope I'll get some time off to explore the places I didn't get to, because it's such a shame. Because this is an area I'm the least likely to visit again, like in my own personal life, and also the one that we visit the least on the ship. So I do hope I get my time to explore it all. But yeah, that's what's been going on. That's also why I haven't filmed so much. Also, I'm trying to not film too much. But we'll see. It should calm down now, because now we're going to start going back to places that I've already been to before. But we'll see. That's all from me for now, and I'll see you all later. Or not. I don't know. Bye! Good, uh, I was about to say morning, good evening, good night. It's very late. I need to get to bed. Although I have a bit of a sleep in tomorrow, finally, which is nice. Makes for a nice change. You can hear probably the waves in the background, that's just part of my life here because I sleep with the window open, or in this case a door, so I am already very familiar with these sounds, but I love it. I made a video earlier explaining that, you know, it's been very busy. The person who is in charge has not been well and has not been out and not been able to be in charge, and as a result it's kind of fallen on me, despite having started literally two weeks ago and tonight has just been totally overwhelming. I can't remember now when I made that video earlier and I can't remember if I've already said that I got a big shout out from the hotel manager who is in charge of like all the departments so if I haven't said that already here you go but tonight I did some singing. I was anyway planning on doing you know one or two songs but a few people I spoke to said we'd love to hear you sing and you should sing and were basically just encouraging me to sing. So I was like, okay. So I started off, I said, well, first of all, I said, I'm sure you're sick of me by now. <laughs> and they all said no, which was very nice. And then I said, well, basically what I've just told you, um, obviously studied musical theater. So I was already nervous because a lot of the songs are gonna be musical theater, which don't tend to be such, you know, popular songs. And then also that I spoke to a couple of guests and they encouraged me to do this. And then I said, you know, I've tried to pick songs that you will know, although this first one's probably the least likely because it's a Eurovision song and it's Boom Bang A Bang, which I have a story to tell about, but that is not for today. And already people were excited. It wasn't, you know, majority, but there were definitely a couple of people who were very excited. And I was like, wow, okay, people know this, brilliant. That is what I was hoping for, but not what I was expecting. So I sang it and I finished and I got a really big applause. 
and that, that's how it started and then I said okay now we're going to go on to a musical theatre song but again I think it's one most of you will know because it's hopelessly devoted to you sung that big applause moved on did nine to five sung it got a big applause then did hallelujah which was just beautiful and also for the record I'm gonna sound by the way like I'm tooting my horn this whole time and I don't mean to I just I feel very proud and grateful for today but what I was gonna say is that a lot of these songs I've actually only practiced like in my room singing sort of quietly not actually full voice so I try to imagine how it's gonna sort of place but I can't always predict it like hallelujah I thought was gonna be much higher in my voice and it actually was quite not low but very medium anyway people obviously joined in with hallelujah because it's a really nice one to join in on I mean don't get me wrong people tried to join in on the other songs but here you've got that beautiful chorus where you can just have it filled and they did and it was so beautiful it was so beautiful but actually this is what I was also gonna say as I was announcing it I said this one's not musical theatre you'll be pleased to know I said and a bunch of people booed and I literally had to stop I was like wait a minute was that just people booing that it was not musical theatre and a lot of them yelled back yeah and I was like wait you like musical theatre so that was that was really like comforting <laughs> anyway moving on finished hallelujah again got a massive applause and I'm, I'm really sorry I don't mean to sound up myself I just feel like I need to share this because it felt like a big moment and definitely like a day I'm gonna remember and keep close to my heart for a long time hopefully I needed to readjust but now I look really short can I make I'll just I'll just pop you there and then I got to the last song which was super trooper and of course people joined in and did the little ba -ba, ba -ba, which was great I asked them to and then I finished and when I said that I finished first a lot of people started shouting encore or another one or more and I literally had to be like I don't have any more I'm sorry because even though I technically do have more I had my iPad with me and I've only got a few songs downloaded and the Wi-Fi is very iffy and I was like I don't want to risk trying to find a song and then having to wait for it to load so I just said don't have any more sorry and then I said thank you very much to my colleague who was helping out with sound and stuff and now it's his turn to sing I didn't say it like that obviously but that's the premise and I just said thank you very much and they clapped again and then they started standing I think this must be the first time I've got a standing ovation because I don't know when else I would have and seeing them stand up it just it was unbelievable it was unbelievable and it meant so much to me because I was so nervous and they were all just so nice and so open and willing to, to receive it to hear it from me to listen to my voice which is just not something I thought was ever gonna happen to me anyway that finished and again people were shouting more 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 and I was like no I'm really sorry I don't have any more and then I was kind of packing my stuff away and you know making space for my colleague to start and then as I was walking down to like just sit down or grab a drink or something everyone started like applauding me as I walked down and I, I just I couldn't believe it I so overwhelmed so overwhelmed and then I got my drink sat down and people just kept coming up to me and kept telling me oh this is gonna sound so up myself but like they did just keep telling me how good I was and the reason why I feel like I need to talk about this is because I don't I didn't feel like I was any good I felt like I was all right but really nothing special and like one person was saying that they wished they had me every night singing or that you know I'd continued another person said this is what you should be doing which is like, it is what I want to be doing, so thank you. Um, and they said like, don't bother with the other stuff, like this is, this is where you shine, this is you. Which is amazing because again, I didn't feel that. I didn't feel like I was shining, I didn't feel like I was doing anything special. And someone else said, you just like, well actually a few people said, you seemed so confident up on that stage. And I was like, I was terrified. I, I was so nervous. So for you to say I appear confident and that I'm shining just blows my mind, just blows my mind and just goes to show that we can be our own worst critic. And then someone else said I was a Disney princess and that I had a Disney princess voice and I was like, oh, 
my heart. And then, obviously, because I was chatting to people, they were also saying, like, you've really stepped up into this role that, you know, you've been forced to, and you've done such a good job of, you know, covering, and you've done it all with such confidence. And again, I was like, I'm not confident. I am very, very terrified. And basically, I just, I, my heart is so full and I feel so overwhelmed by the nice things people have said about me today. And sometimes you don't realize how much you need to hear it. And what's nice is that these people don't have to say any of it. Like they're not my family, they're not my friends, they're not, you know, in a position where they have to say it. They could just be like, oh, okay, well done and move on. But I just felt so much love from everyone today. And these are people I met like four days ago. I just, I feel totally overwhelmed and I, I can't, express the way I feel but everyone's just been so lovely and I think I really think I needed it not just because of you know having to cover and step up but also because I really lack self-confidence especially with my singing and I don't think I'm good enough and you know you're kind of made to feel that way in this industry because you do thousands of auditions and you don't get any so to hear that I shine and to hear that, you know, I'm doing a good job and that I should be doing this, it makes me feel like I do stand a chance of maybe making this work. It probably doesn't make any sense, but I feel very close to crying. I'm like, I just want to like take my heart out and just, I don't know, it, it just feels so full. It's just, I'm so overwhelmed. I know I keep repeating myself, I'm sorry. I think I've covered everything I want to say. If not, I'll pull the camera back up in a bit. But I really need to get to sleep as well. I'm very, very tired. Oh, I remember now. That colleague I was talking about earlier, the one who usually sings, has been amazing, has been phenomenal. He doesn't need to do anything that he's been doing and he's just been so supportive and kind and he's a hugger and at first I was a bit like, oh, I don't really like that you're touching me, but now I'm like, oh, I need, I need these hugs. Like he just, he just knows it. And you know, he's kind of been the main person I've been with to get through this because he's the only other person who's like directly in the entertainment team, so to speak. And I feel very, very grateful that he's in my team and that he has been so nice and helpful and supportive and everything. So I'm going to sleep with a heart full of love, except not in like the Lemmy Scrabble context. <laughs> anyway, good night and I'll see you when I see you next. Bye. Oh, on a totally separate note, I might have mentioned this earlier, but if I didn't, someone came up to me earlier to be like, oh, wow, your hair is so beautiful. Which anyway, I was like, oh, that's very sweet. I feel like it's a mess. It always feels like a mess, but anyway. And then said, oh, how did you do it? And I was, I was a bit confused. I was like, I washed it. And she looked really disappointed and was like, oh, I was hoping it was like a Dyson. And I was like, no, sorry, this is just, how I was born or that's what I said which is not true I wasn't born like this but it is just my natural hair and I haven't even like done anything to it but anyway sorry I just thought it was funny I've never been asked if my hair is done by like a machine or whatever it's called equipment because it's usually so messy <laughs> so that was nice as well right good night well I need to take my makeup off but good night hello I have to go in a minute but before I do I'm exhausted. I've just had the last hour off, which has been really nice, but I'm really feeling it now. And tomorrow is gonna be mental. Tomorrow I start at four in the morning and then basically work through until probably quite late at night. So can't wait for that. But no, this last hour has been nice. But as a result of everything that's happened, we needed one of our airport guides to come and collect something today, all ready for tomorrow. And when we dropped it off, she gave me a little bag and it's got a bear on it. And inside are loads of Ferrero Rochers. Ferrero Rocher? I don't know. But it's so sweet. <laughs> so that's cheered me up a bit. And I'm so tired. But I feel like I need to get through tonight, I need to get through tomorrow, and then it should get easier. Maybe I speak too soon, but that's what I'm thinking and hoping anyway. All right, I'll see you later. Or not, I don't know. Bye. You can have some romantic lighting, please. <laughs> <laughs> Let me turn the mic on. Thank you. Well, I took I'm in power. Do, Fergie, 
is that I can't. Shut down, I'm talking. <laughs> Oh, what is when I came in? I'm on the electoral roll. All I want is a room somewhere, courtesy of the Prime Minister. Oh, I have Mr. Tony Blair, but at least she will give you this man. Hello, good night. It's been such a day and I am exhausted. I got up at 3.30 this morning and have basically worked non-stop since then. Luckily tomorrow I have a bit of a sleep in. I do need to set my alarm still though. But my first real activity isn't until 10, so that's fantastic. I will obviously get up earlier for breakfast though. And I'm knackered. I'm so tired. We had a cancelled flight. We had passengers show up who weren't actually on our guest list. We had people ending up in Vienna, even though we are in Budapest. But honestly, I think all things considered, it was all managed very well. Everyone got to where they needed to get to, and everyone's on board that needed to be on board, despite being delayed by an hour. No, more, anyway. Everything is sorted, and it wasn't even such a stressful day, it was just exhausting. And so now, finally, it's time to sleep. And I have been waiting for this since 3.30 this morning, 20 hours ago. So good night, and tomorrow we're in Bratislava, which I'm really looking forward to, and I'm gonna go on a tour, so I probably will film lots. I hope, anyway. Good night. <laughs>